Good evening and welcome to those here with us in the sanctuary, to those joining us online at home, home and abroad, regionally, internationally. We welcome you, we thank you for taking time out to be a part of this evening's service. Amen. Amen. What a wonderful day it is, what a wonderful time it is to be in the land of the living. So many things are happening all over, but we are here. Thank God, give God honor and glory, thanks and praise. We have legs to walk, hands to clap, eyes to see, ears to hear, amen. We have the word of God. That we can truly believe without any persecution, without any fear, amen. Thank you for that. At this time, I'd like to invite Pastor Chris to open us in a word of prayer, please. Hallelujah. Good night, everyone. Let's go ahead. Father, we thank you, great God, for the opportunity to be in your presence to magnify your name, great God. We give you praise, we give you honor, we glorify you tonight, Jesus. I pray, oh great God, that your Holy Spirit will take preeminence here tonight, God. It's all about you, Jesus. Flow through this place, oh great God. Those that come, Father God, with needs and whatever the need may be, mighty God, we know that you are well able to meet it tonight, God. We thank you, we have this confidence, and we know, oh great God, and whatsoever we commit unto you, you are able, oh great God, to bring it to pass for us, God. Father, we rejoice greatly tonight, oh God, knowing that you sit upon the throne and reign in majesty, God. We bless your holy name. We thank you, oh great God. We, your people, honor you tonight, Jesus. Oh, thank you, oh great God, for your holy presence and readiness, praise God. We magnify your great name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallowed be your holy name. Visit us tonight one more time in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor Chris. For those who would have, who were part of this Sunday service online and in the sanctuary, for me personally, I share with Sister Crystal, it was like a real old school feeling. It was a, a real old school Pentecostal fire. The worship was really nice. It was really wonderful. I mean, the worship is usually wonderful, but something was just something different. I mean, we could always expect something different in the house of the Lord. We could always expect something different at the lighthouse in Portland Sanctuary. Amen? Amen. Good. So please put your hands together as I welcome glorious please as you come to share and let us follow suit. Just let your worship rise, let your praises rise. Amen? Hallelujah. He's great and ready to be praised tonight. Amen. Amen. Just lift your hands and begin to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He's awesome. He deserves all honor and he deserves all glory. Heavenly Father, we just thank you tonight, mighty God. You are great and greatly to be praised. We lift the name of Jesus above every other name. Father, we bless you. We glorify you. King of Kings and Lord of Lords. We just magnify Jesus. So we sing that we lift the name of Jesus on high tonight. Oh, my God. 
tonight, Jesus.
We thank God that you have chosen to be in the house and those on the live stream. This evening we say, bless the Lord. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for tuning in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you feel refreshed? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. I know, you know, sometimes you don't know what you have. Sometimes you realize it's too late. Today, some people are not home, they're in the hospital. Today, some people are in the mall, but we are here. But we are here in the name of Jesus. And we are here to give God praise. We are here to bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, church. We are here to bless the Lord. I know a sister that is here, a close relative of hers in the hospital right now. She was there until most of the night, but she's here to give God praise. And we are here to agree for healing and yeah. victory, amen, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, even today, the Lord just showed me at a point in time I was praying and just meditating on him. And he said, call a particular person. And I called them and something was happening. I happened to hear what was happening. And there was so much cry and pain that person was going through. But I give God thanks that God shows up amen. just on time. Yeah. Hallelujah. Sometimes you don't know what to do, and God will just send somebody Amen. to bring a word or send somebody to do something to help you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So you've got to cherish your relationship with Jesus. Amen. Amen. Sometimes people take their relationship for granted. I don't take my God relationship for granted. Amen. I lay in a bed for months. And connected months again with a break, and I know what it is uh, to be confined. Amen. I love my freedom in Jesus. Amen. And I thank God for good health and strength. Amen. You see, you know, thank him God properly, but I really thank God for my health and strength. Hallelujah. 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 You gotta give God thanks because uh, we can only eat the right foods, but your body can still be attacked. Amen. But we have a God who is bigger than all the attacks. Amen. A God who loves us. A God who fights for us. You know there's a song that says what? God is fighting for us. Pushing back the darkness. What again? Like the king. In the name of Jesus. And the name of Jesus. say it like that. Amen? Amen? We were in a time of prayer. So God is now pushing back the darkness. Yes. Enemies defeated. Enemies defeated. It doesn't matter what the enemy came for tonight. He must know that he's a defeated fool in your life, in your financial time, in your health time, in your academics, whatever Serve you in your attitude, he is defeated. That you will have the right attitude, the right mindset. To conquer. You will not be conquered by the kingdom of darkness. Amen. You can be stush and still in the Lord. Amen. 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 Because you wouldn't enjoy it. You see, the earthly kingdom is different to the heavenly kingdom. Satan has released war on the child of God. And if you cower, you will still get blues. Amen. Hallelujah. So you stand up, you eyeball the devil, and you fight in the name of Jesus. You stand like David. I come to you in the name of the Most High God. Hallelujah. Who you have defied at this day. It ends. David knew his God. Every believer should know his other God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may not be where you want to be at this time. Accomplishing certain things. But it's alright. Once God is on your side, you will make it. He 
his plans they are good and not of evil. And you know, while praying, uh, the Lord dropped in my spirit last night and even today. Speak to the people about developing their spiritual immunity through the word. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are in a pandemic and people are, are building uh, their physical immunity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And there is a vaccine that is out now, as we know, against the COVID-19. To the child of God, sin is a disease. Amen. And there is an antibody that will counterattack in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The power of the one true and living God. You got to fight and build your immune system with the word, your spiritual immune system. Hallelujah. You see, when you embrace the word of God, the spirit of God begins to minister. Hallelujah. You must embrace this logos for God's spirit to begin to minister. And the Bible tells us in Luke 10 and 19, but before 19, let's go up to 17. Hallelujah. From 17, the disciples, they were in glee. The 70 returned with joy in the service that they performed, the ministry work that they did. And it is so encouraging when you go out and there's a good report when you come back. Amen. 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 Whether you pray with somebody on the phone line or you went to their home or you met them somewhere and there was encouragement, there was a deliverance. And you know, I prayed with somebody today that, you know, call me and a deliverance was taking place, as a matter of fact, and they asked me if I could have done all one time. I could not have done all one time, but we were able to pray. Amen. 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 So many calls, I can't remember all of them, but we want to remember people that are going through times, Amen. difficult times, Amen. where the enemy shows up and they can't sleep at all at night. Anybody know of what I'm speaking? Amen. And all night you are awake. Because the devil is giving you blows. Every time you close your eye to sleep, you hear something, you see something, you feel something, you know there is a presence that is not there. Or you begin to dream things that are horrible and you jump out of your sleep. And as you doze away again, you fear coming because you do not know. But I declare in the mighty name of Jesus, it is not so. It is not so with the child of God. The child of God will have sweet sleep. I say sweet sleep for the child of God with no no wicked intervention from the kingdom of darkness or invasion. I declare sweet sleep in the name of Jesus. I declare insomnia is not your portion. Hallelujah. One sister message me. Sister the tonight is in the air. I declare healing for you in the name of Jesus. I declare right now, sister, that in the mighty name of Jesus, the loud noise that you are hearing, I speak by faith. For the Lord has given us power that we can speak over sickness and everything that affects us. And I declare your healing is now. The blood of Jesus be released over your life. And Father, that she shall have a testimony of how great thou art. I command that air to align itself with the word of the mighty God. I bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. The Bible tells us in verse 17, all found? You are not stream found? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Bible says, and the 70 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils. You seen that? Anybody seen that? Somebody read it out loud for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, there is power. There is authority. Hallelujah. The name works. The name works.
Jesus. And the power break every chain. It breaks every chain. So we stand upon the name, upon the power of the mighty God. That whatever is happening, we are not moved. But situations must move away. Because in that name, the power, the resurrected power of Jehovah God is seen. I declare power to rise above your situation. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This is the real deal. Amen. Amen. Jesus paid a price. He humbly came to earth and he fulfilled purpose. Sometimes our pressures and our trials may be much, but it's not more than we can bear. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I stand upon the word of God Amen. in every season. Amen. Bible says, and he said unto them, beheld Satan as a lightning fall from heaven. Hallelujah. God is amazing. I tell you what. And hear what he says now. Behold, look, I give unto you power. Do the miss. Somebody say power. Somebody say power. Again, one more time. Hallelujah. Power. Hallelujah. You see, it's so casual. When you get a casual blessing, no why. But when you say power, mean it. Because sometimes the devil behaves erratically. And we have to get radical. Amen. 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 When he's fighting for your family, Hallelujah. and he's fighting to steal your finances, uh, and he's fighting to steal your loved ones, uh, and your health, uh, and making confusion on your job, uh, when rather than promoted, you are being demoted, uh, rather than salary increase, salary decrease, uh, rather than buy a home, you are now renting. Uh, you know, and sometimes uh, the pressure is on, uh, but we're going to apply pressure on the devil's pressure because the power of the mighty God is real. Hallelujah. But it broke uh, Everything was falling in place. Some wicked devil come and want to steal your joy. And want to steal the hope that God has given you. I declare to you as a child of God. No way, devil, no way. Satan lost what he thought he had in the name of Jesus. Because our God, he went down to the grave. He went down to hell. He went into and he took the keys of death, hell, and the grave. Behold, I give unto you power to do what? To try to answer. And, and over some. Over the power of the enemy. And nothing. Notwithstanding in this rejoicing that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice. Why? Because your names are written in heaven. You can be seated. Rejoice. Why? Verse 20. Because your name is registered in heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord was cautioning the brethren in verse 18. They came back in joy, and Jesus was in joy with them, because the dominion that they received was of him. But he was cautioning them, 
read between the lines. Be hope. Oh, verse 18, and he said unto them, I beheld, so he saw, Satan as lightning fall from heaven. He is saying, what just happened with you and who went out there, don't let pride take you. Amen. Understand what Jesus was saying. Because sometimes you may pray for somebody and they get a victory. We rejoice in the Lord. Amen. 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 So he was giving them a little talk. Now, without saying it in words, don't let pride swell your head. Amen. You see, devil casts out, it's supposed to be so. Hallelujah. They were real excited. Yes. But he said, rejoice because your name is registered. It is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Strengthen your immunity this night. Amen. That your name shall remain in the Lamb's Book of Life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And through the word, you can strengthen your spiritual immunity. Amen. Develop a love for this word. Amen. And when you start to love the word, listen, people will have to tell you how to live. Amen. The word is so much in you and you in the word that you just follow in obedience. Yeah. You follow in humble obedience. Nobody has to tell you this is wrong or that is wrong. Your conscience man is so alive that you don't want to offend God on any day that all you are saying is Lord order my conversation. Lord order my steps. Lord remove those people that should not be But you know what? When they saw the miracles, they got excited. And it's not a bad thing. Because we want to see people restored. Amen. But he said, keep cool, guys. Keep cool, guys. Because hear what? All this is good news. But the greatest among the news is that your name is written. Amen. Keep your names in the Lamb Book of Life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Recently I was asking one or two people selectively. Should the Lord call you now? Are you ready? I got various answers. Some said, I don't know. I don't know. Some said, I'm not sure. Some said, I think so. And some said, yes, I'm ready. Amen. But the majority of the answers is I don't know. We are living in the midst of Bible prophecies being fulfilled. Whether you like it or not, whether we believe it or not, something spread will not stop. Amen. Because it was already prophesied in the word of God that in the last day certain things shall be seen. Amen. So it shall happen. But during these times, God will cover his people. Amen. Amen. In the time of the plague, the Lord said to the people, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. They were in the midst of tragic, in the midst of tragic circumstances, but God protected them. In this time, we're not going to use the blood of an animal, but the blood of Jesus, hallelujah, the blood that shall never lose its power. We cover our home. We cover our businesses. We cover our families. We cover our properties. We cover our lives. We cover all that concerns us. Because when he sees the blood, he will pass. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
that that angel cannot stop by before it's time and take you out when you are under that blood. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. He will try, but he cannot stay under the blood. So these guys understood now they had dominion in Christ. But he cautioned. And I want to caution the church. Jesus didn't say that to them because he felt like talking. Believers tend to become full of themselves. Amen. Amen. Let us remain humble, lighthouse, and those that are Amen. looking in. Amen. We can't make others live right, but let us live the life that we live by example. Amen. And when Jesus opened his mouth, he said, I be here. Satan has lightning fall from heaven. That was to humble him. You don't play with the true and living God. Amen. Amen. Satan humble, he had to fall. Hallelujah. Amen. Iniquity was found in him. And Jesus cautioning us today who will carry the word, every witness, every believer. He's cautioning us. Do not become prideful. Hallelujah. Yes. You are mighty intercessor. Bless God. Bless God. You could prophesy and call people name and bank account number. You will call mine. Bless the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Bless God for you. You have that accuracy. I rejoice with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But listen, don't become prideful. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I saw in television, you know, some time ago, they were just calling on people bank account number and people running up in the line. I don't know what it was for, I didn't watch all the series. But I know it had a man of God who was accurate in that field. But some people sometimes take these things for gimmick and joke. But it had prophets that can accurately call you out, tell you your house number, your bank account number. Because God wants to show that individual something to give them an encounter or to bring them out of whatever situation so that they will know that he is God and there is none like him. Amen. So I have people that God can use to do such. But people who play with all kind of spirit and say it's Jesus and you run in for an answer and a prophecy, be careful. Amen. 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 There are plenty of people who would not like to pray and they go and pay for a prophecy. That is not the Bible. Amen. Don't be lazy. Pray yourself through. Amen. 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 And if you want to see at this word, uh, have the seer himself. Amen. The all-knowing, the all-seeing, uh, the omnipotent, omniscient God. Amen. Hallelujah. Some of us want to go and take chances to get things done. Be careful. And going forward, Bible is clear. We have been given power. That power is so that we will live the life of an overcomer. Amen. We will not be bowed down. Behold, what does the scripture say? I give unto you power. It's a gift. It's enabling grace. Can you check Romans 14, 4 for me? Romans 1, 4, 14, 4. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Enabling grace so that we do not walk in this grace, but in His grace. Amen? In sin, it was a disgrace, but God has given us grace through Jesus Christ. Amen? Romans 44. Who are thou that judges another man's servant? To his own master he standeth or falleth. Yea, he shall be holden up. For God is able to make him stand. Again. Let's go back. Who are thou that judges another man's servant? Amen. Hallelujah. Listen well. Excuse. To his own master. Somebody read, he standeth or falleth. Yea, he shall be holden up, 
For God is able to make him stand. God is able to do all things. Amen. 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 And we need to recognize that, that through the power of the mighty God, we are able to stand. Amen. 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 Sometimes when people suffer debility, no matter how much their mind is telling their foot or their hand to move, it does not because they have suffered an impact where the nerve or whatever it is, muscle, whatever, have been in pain. Child of God, when the God of your salvation, no matter what you are going through, will raise you up, rejoice because your God is more than able, spiritually and physically. Sometimes you are going through the tests and you're saying the test is low. Anybody been in an examination room where it has been low? In their school days? Amen. Come on, in your school days. Amen. Right? And you want to walk out. Uh, but then you know if you walk out, uh, you might see a failure. Yes. Amen? If you walk out, you will see a failure. So what do you do? You finish the test. Amen. Walk through your test with Jehovah God. Amen. All that is developing your immunity. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. You got to finish the test. God wants men and women that will walk circumspect in discipline. Whatever test you are going through, go through with God. Amen. Ask God to lead. I do not know what my brother's test will be or my sister, but I know God is capable of carrying us through. Amen. Amen. Now, our tests will be different, uh, so we really cannot compare the tests, uh, but we know God uh, will not give us more than we can bear. Amen. And we know God is true to his word. Amen. So go through faithfully. Amen. 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 God is looking for a people that will stand upon that principle that they will have that spirit of discernment. If you cannot discern, you will make wrong choices. Amen. Amen. That discernment that is connected to God clears up the things that will have us cloudy with our eyes Amen. to make wrong judgment. And many people are walking without discernment. Amen. Yes. We allow others to discern for us uh, and we fall into snares and traps. Amen. 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 Sometimes people tell you go into a dealer, this is good. And you realize after it was good for them but not for you. Amen. Anybody know what I speak of? Yes. yes. It is their deal, not yours. Amen. Amen. When you are going to do business and you are a child of God, uh, trust the great consultant himself. Amen. 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 He cannot fail. Amen. He cannot fail. Amen. And whatever you do, know that once God has sent you in, uh, you have the backing of heaven. Amen. So child of God, uh, you have to stand righteous. Uh, the Bible tells us here that uh, we have power over all the powers of the enemy. It means we have spiritual victory. Yeah. What demon trying to pull your toe, touch your head? I don't know what it is. But I do know these things happen. And people say, is there mind? I know, Bible tells us, uh, there is spirit that needs to be cast out. Uh, and some will provoke people. Uh, and we need to believe the word of God. Uh, and God above people who will say, it's just your mind. Amen. 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 I prayed for demon possessed people and they got delivered. Uh, and you know, people would have said, who well, in the church, uh, in the church of Jesus Christ, they know it's just his mind or her mind. Uh, listen, uh, it's his or her mind that have been overtaken uh, by the God of this world that have blinded the minds of the people and checked them for his purpose. Uh, so they manifest uh, a satanic evil appearance uh, or function on the earth uh, so that uh, their life uh, or their purpose will not be fulfilled. But you've got to develop your immunity. Hallelujah. Your spiritual and your physical. In this time, people will tell you a lot of things because of the pandemic. If your spiritual immunity is not up, 
you are going to be injected and catch whatever is going around. Amen. 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 You have to be able to make a right decision. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Please. Please, my neighbor. Make right choices. So that 2021 will be a fulfilling year area of your life. I declare it so for you and your household in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, somebody. Amen. We give God thanks. Put your hand on the You see, discernment will lead you into a place of right choices. But some people don't have discernment and they use emotions. Emotions get you into trouble. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Emotions get you into a lot of trouble. Sometimes, because you would feel for somebody, you might take a decision that God didn't tell you to take. And then you realize it was not as they told you. I counsel people, and I love people. That's why God called me, I believe, because I have a heart for people. And I will sit and watch you in your eyeball, and you will lie, and I will smile. Amen. You come for help, or so you say, but you are not ready to get real. Amen. 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 You are not ready to get real. You are doing it for a show because of somebody. Amen. Jesus said, I came not into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. So even though you did it wrong and you're still doing it wrong, in that moment when you are told, you can say, I need him to overcome. Amen. 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 Just as recent as could be, I eyeball somebody lying to my face. Christian. And I was laughing. I don't know what they think if I'm laughing with them. But I'm laughing because you're a liar. Amen. Amen. Just watch me go on live stream. I'm right here. <laughs> watch me. Amen. Lying is not of God. Amen. And when we need help, we have to be open. Amen. It doesn't matter who put you down when you have had a colorful past. And God cleans it up. Amen. The blood of Jesus washes. Amen. Your past is now your testimony. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And it will bring others out. Amen. So you don't get frightened and try. So you're standing next to somebody or some brother who never been out in the world and born and grew all their life in church, but you have been out in the world. You have been in all areas and all circles and done the worst thing. And because you're among that brother now, you try to behave like, oh, no, 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 I've never tasted wine. Oh, no, 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 I've never been to any parties. Oh, no, no, no. My, my family, is you know well known and well to do in the community, so we were brought up that you're lying. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Have people like that? Yes. Amen. You will ever met anybody like that? Yes. yes. Don't lie, child. Now I wasn't even going to talk about that, but God knows why He's speaking about that. Amen. 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 Child of God, honor God. Amen. Have the spirit of discernment and love God. Ensure that your name remains written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Do not become prideful. If you become prideful, uh, your immunity will drop uh, and you are exposed to catch the disease uh, that Satan is putting on men. Amen. I'm talking about sin. Amen. Amen. In case you all say the wrong thing, I'm speaking about sin. Hallelujah. I'm not speaking about COVID-19. Yes, it's a disease too. It's a pandemic and we have 
you know, a lot of things that are going on now, but they have their uh, vaccination that is coming in. We need uh, the vaccination from above to fight the sin syndrome, amen. Uh, we need the Jesus kind of vaccine for the sin syndrome. Uh, the sin syndrome need the blood of Jesus uh, and the name of Jesus. Uh, where devils are intimidating and tormenting, uh, we need the name of Jesus. Uh, each child of God must build his or her immunity. Uh, you gotta build your life upon the word. Uh, Bible tells us about that. Uh, Some one man built his house upon the sand. And when the rain came and the floods came, it went squish, it went flat. But the one that was built upon the rock, it remained. The torrential rains and the winds blew, it stood strong. The rock kept it. Child of God, we stand upon Christ the solid rock. For all other ground is sinking sand. When you stand upon that rock, you are sure to receive victories. Amen. 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 This is a serious time. And I'm telling the church and live stream as I close, love God with your whole heart. Amen. Love God with your whole heart. Amen. Develop your immunity that Satan will catch you off guard. Amen. There are some people that are very negative, sister. Listen, when you begin to speak and they are negative, tell them, not today, sister. Not me. Or brother, whoever it is. Some things you do not want it to get into your ear and corrupt your system. You just want it not to even enter in. Because you want to stay in the line of faith. You want to keep the fire in line. You want to keep in the place of God. So you want to continue strong in great faith. Amen. Amen. So now people will tell you, you see how everything going? I don't know what will happen to me in this country. No, I don't know what happened to you. I know what happened to me. God will take care of me because I believe God. Hallelujah. Amen. You gotta believe God. Don't, why not say, listen, don't play with the scripture. Any two or any three. Shall what? Shall what? Come together in agreement, right? Touching any one thing, yeah. coming together in one agreement. So you agree with that person saying that negative. You know what you're doing? You're bringing damnation upon your own self. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you don't agree with the negative. So you say, listen, sister, you see everybody losing their job? Kill, weakness. Not me, sister. Yeah. You have to know when to move. Yeah. God forbid if it come, God will provide. He knows, but I'm not going to agree with you. Hallelujah. It's there in my face, and I'm still not going to agree with you. Hallelujah. That is the kind of faith we're talking about. Hallelujah. Amen. The thing staring you there, but you're saying no, 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 no. You're not in denial anymore. You're standing upon the word of God. Because when God moves you, it's only the better, the higher heights and deeper depths. Listen, when God moved Joseph from the pit,
Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They were challenged. Hallelujah. Listen, child of God. They refused to bow to what they did not believe in and what was not taught to them. They stood upon the scroll and the scriptures that they were taught from a child. That when they came into the Babylonian system, yes, they did things different. But their God never changed. Their food would have changed. And some other things would have changed. But their God, Jehovah, remained the same. They did not bow. They were willing to go in the fiery furnace. They were willing to die for their God. They say, oh king, we will not be careful in this one. We will not bow. We will not bow. Today people are bowing to whatever is happening in the system. I refuse to bow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To that which will fail. But God cannot fail. Hallelujah. Daniel, he refused to stop praying. In the midst of dire adversity, the man will get up and he will look out his window and he will pray every day. How many times? Three times a day. Daniel will pray. Some of us not praying one time. Some of us are praying at all. But we want victory. Come on. Come on, you need to do something to get something. You need to do something. You need to get real with your God. We're living in serious time. The Lord is showing me so much things. We're living in a time. Sometimes I may not be able to pray for anybody, but I may just have to cry because uh, they mess with God. And their moment in time have come and gone. Because they didn't listen to sound doctrine. Amen. Take the doctrine of Christ. And it's all right if you don't believe me. The word will speak of what I saw. Check the word. Father, we just thank you. We just bless you. I pray for you people this night that they will develop their spiritual immunity against the kingdom of darkness. The Lord, they will not be hoodwinked. They will not be deceived. But through building relationship with prayer, discipline, discernment. Father, I declare that your people shall reach to that place you will have them to. I declare through your power that they shall have visitation. May you visit them in their sleep. May they have, Father God, dreams with direction. How to enter the next phase of their life. May they put away childish things now and may they stand righteous. May your love surround them and may your strength, Father God, be upon them. May your wisdom flow in and through them and may your joy be full of them. I declare wisdom from above and love in the name of Jesus. Father, we just thank you today and we bless you. We give you the praise, we give you the honor, and we give you the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Saints, I encourage you to love the Lord with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. We have entered a serious time on planet Earth where only so much can be done. And it's through prayer, discipline, loving God, to have direction. I encourage you that if you are a, black, a backslider, it's a good time to come into the fold of Christ. I encourage you to encourage your family that have walked away from Christ to walk back in the ark of safety now. Salvation is still available at this time. It's not about the church having members. It's not about tithes and offering. It's about you not missing the mark 
when the shofar and trumpet is blown, when the trumpet is blown, that you will not miss the mark, but you will have returned to the place of God in humble adoration to your neighbors and your loved ones. I implore you to be a proper witness. Play the right music. Sing the right songs. Be a neighbor as Christ speaks about being a neighbor. Love even when people don't return the love. Hallelujah. When you know you can love, it's when you give and you don't get any in return. Then you know you are a person that is born of love. But when it's being returned to you, that is not love. You're having a good thing going. But when you can love people despite what they say about you, despite what they do to you, you know you are born of God and you are born of love. God bless you. I love you. We are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be here. We are on on Sunday morning. It's our fast Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. We are on to be a blessing. Come on, live stream. We're starting at 8 a.m. And we are going to have a fantabulous time in the presence of Jehovah. Amongst our love, strike that. And whatever your heart's desire may be filled. In Jesus' mighty name.